Investigators use metal detectors to search for evidence at an independence home where the first indication of trouble rang over police radio. Copy shots fired. Copy shots fired. All units channel home. Police from Independence and Kenton County responded to the home for a burglary in progress when there was a confrontation. Neighbors who didn't see what happened heard it. Come out with your hand, you know, come out. And I, that's about all I heard. And I heard uh, a shot, then they fired twice. That's all I remember. Henry Thackett lives just across Ridge Point. He says the man who confronted police was the same man he'd seen working in the woods here for a few days, a white man with an unkept appearance. When I seen someone, you know, walking around in the woods the last couple of nights, it kind of scared me. Then when they brought him out on the stretcher, I knew it was the guy that was hiding out and he was homeless. Neighbors say the house at 845 Ridge Point has been vacant for years and trouble for even longer. It's an attractive nuisance is what it is. Dale Grigsby says he's called about the dilapidated property. He's lived in the neighborhood three years, and we found problems go back even farther. There have been multiple calls about the property dating back to 2012, including burglary calls in 2015, 16, 17, 18, and today. Several neighbors tell us they've been trying to get something done about the vacant house but got nowhere. It's absolutely like sad, but I do believe that had something been done about this, you know, two or three years ago, that this could have been avoided. Police and fire gave aid to the man shot, but he couldn't be saved as concerns about a vacant property are realized to the extreme. Now, police are yet to identify the man that was killed or the officers involved in this. They say the man did have a firearm. They did not say yet if he fired at officers, Kentucky State Police are investigating. No officers were injured. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Now, Brian, do we know anything about who owns the property? Yeah, details on that are a little sketchy. The last known owner was Deborah Shadler, but she passed away. Now, there was an incident, another burglary here in 2016. There was a man inside, but he said... He was the former owner and that the house had been in foreclosure, but he said he had permission to be there. Ashley? All right, Brian Hamrick reporting live tonight. Thank you, Brian, for those updates.